How does Big Team Battle play out on Halo 2 Anniversary and Classic Halo 2 on PC? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another Halo video. Today we're going to be talking about BTP experience currently in the Halo 2 flighting and how it plays out on PC. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. But if you like this kind of gameplay commentary videos, make sure you tap that like button. It lets me know you want to see some more content like this. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so it looks like we got ourselves a little BTP on Halo 2 anniversary on Stonetown, which is the remake of Zanzibar from Halo 2. And this is one of my favorite looking remakes. Though the big issue when it comes to playing the BTP maps on my original co Xbox console is that, um, well, frame, it's Frame Drop City. Just all over the place. And this guy's taking my snipes. Nah, it's all good. Man, it's all good. So I'm on mouse and keyboard as well. So you can see, maybe we can hop over and play a little bit of mouse and keyboard. So you kind of see how the whole feels and give you guys my experience while playing these uh, different modes. And within Halo 2. Yeah, if you guys remember Halo 2, Anniversary it is a true hit scan, but basically so it's all it's a true hit scan as in basically all you gotta do is click on the guy's head and it will connect. It's not like in Halo 2 on oh, there we, go. we got a sniper right here. And gotcha. Where you have to actually lead your shots a little bit, not as much as you do in Halo 3 on MZC, but you do have to lead just a little bit to be able to get your shots. But in Halo 2 anniversary, it's hit scan, so you just click and dead, basically. So really, you don't see a big difference between mouse and keyboard and playing on uh, controller on BTB, just because the lines of sight are so much larger than anything else. Ah, I got swarmed. We'll try to get back there so we can get that snipe, though. I know that was a really big complaint when it came to Halo Reach on PC, was the mouse and keyboard versus controller debates and how aim assist really played a factor in that one. But I think the main issue was is that a lot of the you know complaints were coming from people who were like playing it rather competitively, trying to rank up and do well, obviously. Like, to, as a standard experience when it comes to playing Halo. Oh, they have two snipes, bruh. And well, a lot of the maps that were in Halo Reach competitive are close to mid-range classic Halo sized maps, which are your mid-range kind of maps, which where you would expect aim assist to really kind of be the, I should play a, a significant factor. Is this guy just gonna keep peeking me or what's going on here? But basically, oh, there he, now he came back. Oh, and he's dead. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, but back on like that aim assist discussion there, I want to talk about it because the you know, controller needs aim assist. You can't just turn it off because it wouldn't be fair because then massive keyboard players would have a clear advantage on controller players and you don't want to have that happen either. But I will say that probably, you know, keyboard mouse players are used to being like the more superior um, input device when it comes to playing your shooters. But Halo is a very different kind of beast. You know, not very many games play like Halo. And so being consistent with your shots, it's not all about being like the first person to be getting your shot. And ooh, I think we have snipe spawn up right there. If my teammate is not going to be as greedy as I think he's going to be. He is, damn it. So the reason why you need aim assist on controller is because the amount of movement that a controller player needs to make is such a small little distance compared to mouse and keyboard. Like I have an entire desktop I can have for sensitivity basically, which compared to a controller player, they have like maybe an inch, half an inch of movement. So it's not really fair for pl controller players to be able to have to so, you know, try to compete with that kind of unfair advantage. So the way they kind of balance that out is by implementing aim assist. Oh, sweet spawn there, dude. Oh, God. Damn. I now, the reason why it was such a big issue in Halo Reach was because of most of the maps being close, mid-range, and hardcore, the controller aim assist is going to kick in the most is at that range because it's harder... Be super hard for players to kind of keep their sh shots on, but in Halo 2, in Halo 2 Anniversary, obviously we don't have bloom, we don't really have spread or manual spread like you do with uh, Halo Reach. It's all kind of predetermined for you, so it really kind of comes down to when to aim properly and being consistent with your shot. And I haven't really noticed too much of an impact when it comes to playing on mouse or keyboard versus controller when it comes to Halo 2. So I think maybe that discussion might be quelled a little bit, but we'll see when it comes to when people the full release and people try to grind out Halo 2 classic ranks. 
Well, this boy's got the sword. Obviously, once the game actually finally goes out to the wild, things might play a little different. Oh gosh, he's, I think he's coming right towards me. I'm just gonna get out of there. Oh, free kill. But we didn't, you know, ran out. we didn't run away. We just advanced to future victory, is what I like to call it. Now, another thing I've always had a big issue, like I kind of touched on the beginning of this video, is performance. I play on that original, like, launch Xbox, you know, the power of the Xbox One and all that great, and all that great stuff. And let me tell you, uh, the Xbox One is not exactly the most powerful machine, to, to say the least, right there. Uh, especially on this map, I get real bad frame drops. There we go. Playing right now on PC, that's actually not that bad. And the performance is actually pretty good. Um, it's not. It's also a little bit smoother, I would say, than it's like in Halo Reach. Oof, that guy came out of nowhere. Oh, but that guy definitely got me the best of me. Because Reach has a kind of a, it does, even though you're getting like, you know, 200 plus frames or 100 plus frames on the game, it feels a bit framey. It really does. So if you play a game that's like designed to be on PC, say like, I played Star Wars Battlefront 2 on PC when I put my new PC together. Oh my God, the frames were buttery smooth. And on this game, you know, they still get a little bit of framing. It's not as bad as Reach. And that's one of the improvements that they're looking to continually try to make with this game. Oh, I got overwhelmed. For a game that was designed to be on console, brought to the PC, I think it plays out pretty well. Actually better than Halo Reach, I'd say, in performance-wise, which feels pretty good. And especially way less frame drops than uh, it does on console, that's for sure. So if you guys had a chance to play this flight, you know, let me know in the comment section down below. I do read out the comments. And I'd like to see what your everyone's experience has been with this flight. So far, the gameplay of it plays pretty dang well. The audio is, to me, it sounds even better than on console. First of all, I have to listen to my audio. It might not be, uh, oh gosh, that grenade, that's a little hot. It's a little hot. Oh gosh, he sees me. Oh, now I got double team now. But you, so you can see though, while I'm playing on mouse and keyboard, that like the front, you know, I'm still able to hit my shots. You know, I'm probably not as well as I could on console because of that's sort of the mainly I've only ever played this game on until now. But for right now, I'm saying it feels pretty good. Not even without the aim assist, I'm liking it a lot. And it looks like we might pull off the win here, 99 to 95. Can we get the last kill by any chance? What about this guy? This guy looks like he wants to die. Oh, it looks like I want to die. Oh, no. Come on, survive. Let's start getting a grenade up there. Oh, and we got the win. Now, we played a little bit of ye old Halo 2 Anniversary, but you gotta play the OG Halo 2 Classic. And you can see I'm playing 120 FOV when it comes to my vehicle FOV, but in my gameplay FOV, I believe I'm playing on... Actually, we can double check right here real quick. 100, yeah, for my gunplay FOV. Because a lot of times, with a higher FOV... Oh gosh, no, get out of here! <laughs> so playing at a higher FOV sounds great, obviously. You get to more, see more of the map and stuff like that. Obviously, that's an advantage. But the thing is, though, target acquisition becomes a bit more tricky because everyone's just a little bit smaller on your map. And so it's kind of tough to see... Uh, where you need to aim and stuff like that, you know? Oh, 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 oh. Oh gosh, oh, get around the corner. So that's why when I'm on foot, gunplay, 100 FOV by vehicle, I'm pretty chill with using 120. Oh, can we get a double? Can we double it up? Can we double it up? No, oh, it's the fish that got away, man. Oh god, this guy might get the most unfortunate spawn. <laughs> that's a kill spree to start out. Now, basically, we're just kind of sitting here spawn killing. <laughs> Uh, that's why you don't get your rates and your banshees up. Oh no, the rockets! This boy got rockets though. Got a nano kill there. There we go. Good <laughs> guy in the chat. Uh, we're doomed. And honestly, you might just be. No way. I was like, this guy, if this guy takes me out in a turret, in a turret, I was about to flip. Oh, they're really mad at me. They're very mad at me. Understandable. I'd be mad at me too. Get out of here! Ray's a little beat up, but I think we're fine. They were putting in some work on this lobby. We're putting in some work. That's a kill friends to start out the game. No! Teammate! That's an enemy. Oh, I'm aware of things. Oh, that's the streak. It ended. No. <laughs> that worked out well, though. Okay, we found ourselves a sniper rifle here. Let's uh, see if you can do a little bit of work here. I mean, uh, no guarantees. Halo 2 Classic Sniper plays very different. 
Halo 2 anniversary sale. Damn, boy, he's sick! Oh, God, no! <laughs> run! Run! You don't see this! You don't see me! This is not here! No! No! <laughs> no. Can we get some Fs in the comments for the lack of sniper rifle I have now? Never mind, I just spawned up. <laughs> oh, that's the great thing about Halo 2, man, is that some of the uh, power weapon spawns are a little more uh, frequent than you'd expect from later Halo games, that's for sure. Just be a little snipey boys, you know? I used to do this all the time back in the day. Grab the Banshee and just be an extra snipey boy in some crazy high elevation. Like, no one would expect you to be up here sniping, right? Like this guy. Wouldn't expect to see that coming. I wouldn't, at least. Oh boy. Those are some fail shots. Is he gonna peek around over here? Is he gonna go through the teleporter over here? He's staying over there. Ah, ha, ha, that's where he went. Think this boy trying to get saucy on me? This is all I even realize. I got the all-powerful noob combo coming your way, buddy. Oh god, but he has a friend! Can the new combo save me from the friend? Uh, hit the wall right there. Try it again here. You can double it up. There we go. The great thing about the noob combo in this game, well, it's where it got the name from, is this game, because it's crazy overpowered. If you see your opportunity, take it, and use the plasma pistol, dude. This is where the noob combo got its name from, because it was used to be absolutely infuriating for me to play against. I will also say that the frame rate is a lot smoother in classic. Obviously, I mean, this is a... Woo, you got melted, boy. Obviously, this is a game that was released in 2004. You'd expect it to be able to run on a potato, basically. So, you guys, if you guys have, like, weaker PCs or even on laptops, right? And you're like, man, I won't be able to play any games on the MCC. Or especially Halo 2, it's my favorite game and stuff like that. You'll be able to play Halo 2 Classic. Oh my god. You can also do all your button combos you can on controller. And you can do it on mouse and keyboard as well. I haven't run come across anybody using like cheats or macros or anything like that. I mean, obviously, the, uh, the anti-cheat that's in this game is meant to detect that kind of stuff. So I haven't come across anybody just being ridiculous or anything like that. So... That's a very good thing to keep in mind when you're playing on PC. That the integrity of the game will stay intact. Oh god, not again. Not again. Get him, get him, get him. Don't let him get the flag. Can't let him get the flag with like four seconds left. Okay, they went like the worst route possible, so it all worked out for me. And the game's over, and we got another win. So yeah guys, that's the BTB experience right now on the MCC for Halo 2. It plays out pretty great on mouse and keyboard. Now, we do have a 2v2 day and a 4v4 day coming up soon, so I would like to make videos on that. Those videos, I think I'd be a much better chance of comparing and contrasting like uh, aim assist when it comes to using controller and just using your mouse and keyboard aim, because I feel like it's gonna be a little bit better of a balance in this game compared to Halo Reach. So if you guys like these gameplay commentary type of videos, please make sure to type up that like button so let me know see some more content like this and leave a comment down below what your experience has been with the Halo 2 flight if you got invited. If you didn't get a chance to jump in and you got a chance to watch this game, what else would you like to see of the flight? Let me know in the comments. Like I said, I do read all of them and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me, check out the videos on the screen over here. Get a list to uh, play us of all the news information that's been coming out recently. If you've been out loop for the last few days. And a link to another video if you want to check out for more content from me. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to tap subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.